Hello everyone, we are back with another video. As you know, I am Ismi from Between Two Mules and if you are new to this channel, here we discuss topics related to Mulesoft and much more. In this video, we are going to talk about securing your properties in Mulesoft. The best practices of the industry state that we must not save password and sensitive information. Despite that, we are sometimes forced to store such properties inside our application. In this video, we will discuss three ways of securing properties in your Mulesoft project. I have created a step-by-step -step tutorial for all of you to follow along. Please refer to my blog mentioned in the description if you prefer reading tutorial blogs. Let's get started. I created a blog and after getting an overwhelming response in a positive way, I thought I should make turn this blog into a video. In this blog, you will see step by step how we can secure our properties in three ways. Today, we will follow along this blog and secure our properties. Let us move over to AnyPoint Studio. For demonstration purposes, I have here created a very simple application. I have created a listener, a transform message, and a query for Salesforce where I want to insert some fields. To do so, I need to make connection to the Salesforce and I am using a basic authentication with username, password, token and a URL. In here, I want to secure my password and my token so that nobody can use it. How can I do so? There are three ways. Let's move over to the first way. The first way is using use of property editors. To do this, you need to install AnyPoint Enterprise Security in your local studio. If you go to this blog, you can here find the prerequisites of how to install it, but here we will just do, go through it very, very quickly. Mulesoft gives us a very detailed step of how to install AnyPoint Security. You also need to find out what is the exact version of AnyPoint Security that you need to download into your AnyPoint Studio. To do so, if you click on the link here, it takes us to this page where it, you can see that the latest AnyPoint Studio URL that we get is this one. Now let us start by downloading this. So if in my AnyPoint Studio, if I go to help and install new software, I can click on this add button, give it any name. I'm going to give here AnyPoint Enterprise Security. And I'm going to copy this URL and paste it here. Now click on add. Okay. When you click on add, you will see an option known as premium. Select this option and for you, next option should be highlighted. Follow this wizard and finish the installation. To, to secure your properties using new property editor go to your project go, go to your source main resource and to your config file right click and click on open with usually you see the new editor option here but if you don't do not fear what we're going to do is click on other and we're going to start typing properties now you see it gives me two options new property editor and property file editor you can select new property editor and click ok you're going to double click on the password and then you see it gives me edit property the value is password click on encrypt in here you can now select what algorithm you want to encrypt and you need to make sure you give the key the key size should at least be 16. now i paste my key here and click on OK. I found that my password has been encrypted and click OK. This method automatically replaces my value with the encrypted password. Now, if I ever want to decrypt this value and see what's happening, I can again double click, click on decrypt and click OK. Using this method, now you have encrypted the secure properties. Now let's look at the second method, how we can encrypt the secure properties. Mulesoft provides a secure property tool, which you can download by going 
to this place we're going to encrypt properties using secure property tool download this link and you will be able to download the secure property tool jar file wherever you have downloaded this property now you simply need to go and open your terminal or your command prompt at that place okay i'm trying to navigate to between two moves because that's where i have downloaded the secure property tool jar now this is the command that we're going to try to use to secure our properties using the secure property tool jar this command is already mentioned in the link which i showed you earlier as you can see this is the command this also tells you what the method should be what the algorithm is and what mode you should do so once you set everything as per the instructions here you will be able you will be able to get a command of such sort here i'm using I'm, I'm telling it that my method is a string i am trying to encrypt my password using aes algorithm and cbc and then this xxx you see is my secret key which i'm not showing here and my password is password so let's try to use this if i try to paste it here and try to run it you will see i receive an encrypted value for my password i can similarly also decrypt my password now we have secured our properties using two methods first one was new soft property editor second one was secure property tool jar and there's a third one which are not a lot of people know is secure properties generator this is probably the easiest and the quickest way to encrypt your files but again it's not very ideal for us to use an online property generator secure property generator to encrypt our files so i'll show you two ways to use it first one is to navigate here this will open secure property generator for us i already have it open i have added my secret key encrypt algorithm and the state my, the value for my password is password. I'm going to click the generate and it gives me a result. What's new about this is you can also encrypt the whole file and then file level. This is a generator created by somebody at, at Salesforce. If you see here, I also found their GitHub repository, which you can then download and run it locally so that you can secure your properties in a very safe environment. They've given a very nice overview and steps of how to secure your properties. This is all for today's video. I hope you liked it and I hope this is something which will be useful to you now and in future. I hope in the next video I'll bring you something similar and very important. Thank you so much for watching. 